Um, well, yeah, but uh, Columbia pretty much controlled the race. They let the break go and then kept it contained pretty much. And uh, once we got closer, obviously the, peak, the speed picked up uh, the last couple of laps. And it looked like Cervello tried to make a move coming out of the last turn. But uh, before we actually got there, there was a couple of crashes. We had these big manhole covers and pretty much turned into chaos. And, you know, you're fighting for position, looking for the fastest line into the final turn, and then you've got these obstacles to uh, sort of maneuver around. So it made it pretty interesting. And I was trying to do a lead up for my teammate Danilo. Oh, okay. But we, uh, we got separated. You know, there's only so much time to try and find them there towards the end, so I figured I'd better try and do something for the team. So what did you, um, did, were you following? At that point, did you jump on somebody's wheel, to, or did you just start going? Yeah, I looked back for a second, then I noticed uh, Kiki was starting to come around me pretty quick, so I tried to follow his wheel the best I could, and uh, I think he ended up fourth, so. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, some people have said it wasn't as fast as they expected yesterday. Would you say the same thing? Or? Yeah, it seems a little too... Uh, bunched up or kind of clogged there at the finish to, uh, to really have a nice fast sprint. Mm. So, yeah, I was expecting it to be a little faster. All right, so uh, what's the plan for BMC? Um, are you are you focusing on you and Danilo for the sprint and the others for brakes? Or? Uh, actually, it'll be a little bit of both. Uh, the breakaways early on, obviously, and then a nice sprint at the end. All right, so how are the legs after yesterday? You open them up? Oh. And yeah, I feel good. Yeah, yeah. I feel opened up. Go again? Yeah, definitely. Thank you.